you know, I told him, I said, you know, you're going to have to go and you're going to get your opportunities. And you know, he knocked down a couple big shots and got to the basket, made a couple big plays. You've got to go to the basket and uh, take advantage of foul line situations, you know, and those 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 types of games you get the lead you got to go to the basket and that's what we do that's what we do we're better at that and uh, we got three guys that can go and uh, you know Tyler Lyons doing an unbelievable job in the middle of the defense and offensively uh, he sees things that nobody uh, seniors don't see he he sees plays slips and plays that nobody sees and nothing bothers the kid um, he's had two monstrous games down here, monstrous games. Uh, yeah, I was aware when I when I turned the corner and I looked up, I saw, it, but I was surprised it didn't foul. But we got it off in time. Um, but I mean, should have just went to the basket. I think we've got to know to go to basket a little sooner. But the, the thing that I, you know, say, and I think the new rules, everything's good, but the coach not taking calling timeouts just not a good rule. I mean, I think that was a perfect rule. These guys are playing. They should be playing. I should be able to call the timeouts in those situations. And, uh, when Malachi lost the ball, I would have had a timeout there. I mean, that's why you save your timeouts. Um, I just, I, I, players, they don't know when when somebody's in trouble or when somebody's not. That's not for them to even judge. They should be trying to get open or to dribble the ball. That should be a coaching decision, and I think that's the one rule change I just really think is a bad change. Mike made the play. He got the ball to Tyler inside. They switched. They had a guard on him, and he. We didn't all. Sometimes we did take advantage. Sometimes we didn't. But he got it to Tyler in the low post. And he made. That was a. That was a big play. That was a big play of the game. I think. You know, if we, we had to overcome a lot of. Th I mean, we missed a lot of free throws. We missed 15 free throws. You know, that's. It's hard to overcome that. I think there's a, a reasonable likelihood that we will play Connecticut again someday soon. Uh, personally, for me, this is my first time playing against UConn, and uh, it was just nice to see uh, the rivalry and uh, just uh, nice to come up with a win in this uh, type of competitive environment. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was uh, both teams were getting up and down at the end, uh, making plays, scoring baskets, and it was the type of games you want to play in. Caleb, just playing like just playing four minutes was just because you like what you saw up there. Mike Lowe. What do you think? Jim, with Dayline and foul trouble a lot, and Tyler Miller, Tyler Roberson had to do a lot for him. What kind of defense line of boards? I thought he was really good. I mean, he was he did a lot of things today defensively. That shot, that block, the shot he made, block shot he made on Miller when it was I think 4-2 or something. That was 4, I think. That was a huge block. I mean, I didn't even see him coming. I don't know how he got there. That was a huge play. Uh but you know, he was active. Uh, you know, people are worried about our perimeter guys and he's going to get opportunities. And there's space there. And uh, both Tyler, both Tylers are going to get opportunities in those situations, and because these guys will find them, and uh, they they've got to make finishing plays out there. Oh, it was a good matchup. He did a good job of just using his length, uh, trying to deflect my passes and things of that nature. But um, I just had to make sure I protected the ball and uh, deliver the ball whenever I need to make the right pass. He'd rather play against those guys than six-foot guys, trust me. <laughs> Jim, what did you think of Hamilton today? You know, he's a good player. He really he makes a lot of things happen. He, you know, obviously he can shoot, but he, 
He makes plays in the lane. You know, we both start out the second half. We both regret how the second half started. They had two or three inside plays that they messed up, and we had two or three just awful plays that we haven't had all year where we just gave the ball away. I don't know what <laughs> Tyler threw it in the backcourt, and Malachi walked a couple times. I mean, you know, it's hard to overcome that. And but our defense held us in there. And really, it's amazing. They were probably about – I think six for 22 from the three, and then they made four. Hamilton and Portis, I think they made four out of four, four, four to four, or four to five, something like that. That was, uh, you know, we got a little tired. Tyler was a little tired over there. He didn't get up on him a couple of times. But, uh, you know, Tyler lied. I mean, the block he made, he stayed down, he waited, and then he just, you know, he blocked. I mean, that's those plays, seniors don't make those plays. The plays he makes, seniors don't make. They really don't. He had a great prep school coach, and I mean, he's really well prepared. And uh, I'm sending my son up there to see if he can get a little bit of that. <laughs> you kind of hit seven of their first ten shots. What changed after that? What did you do differently, or, or were there any differences? You know, I just think we picked up. People do that against us. You know, sometimes it helps us when they do. They relax a little bit and think they've got it. You know, we, we tighten up. We change a little bit how we're playing. We got over the screen better. Uh, we knew Hamilton was going to try to get in the lane. We tried to keep want to keep him outside the lane. And, uh, you know, they they missed some shots. And then they, Calhoun comes in and makes three. You know, he did that against us before. He, he, he only likes to play against Syracuse, I swear. He's averaging 17, 15 against Syracuse and five against the rest of the country. But, um, you know, he comes in, hits three, and he was in and out on the other one. Um, I thought we did a good job on Gibbs for the most part. He started out and made a couple early. And, uh, yeah, I thought we did a really good job on him. But the only problem I have is I watch Texas A&M, and I haven't seen a bigger, stronger, more physical team in my life. So I don't know. I'm not going to have much rest the rest of today. <laughs> I mean, it's big for us. Uh, we're able to space teams out and attack, and it creates lanes for guys like us to get to the basket, or, or if they help, you just find the open guy. And uh, well, we've been really good at that, and we, that's what we want to do. You did say we have four guys, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I think we got five. We just got to get them in the game and get them settled down a little bit. 